Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to day 11 of the anti-research. We have another sleep report, so we're going to hop right into it. I am aiming towards Master 18 this week. It's going to be exciting to see if we can get that far this weekend. It's currently Friday, and so we have Saturday, and then we have half of Sunday left. I'm thinking to try to do some Sunday shenanigans both in terms of the EZZ ticket, but also with the Flareon and the Dedenne and everything tomorrow. So we'll just have to see how that works out. What is today's sleep type? It is snoozing. And I saw that one of you guys in Nerthheart, I don't remember the name. One of you guys found a Raikou wild encounter. So apparently we've made it far enough to where that makes sense. And I did catch that they were not using an Entei incense or a Raikou incense. So we still do not have concrete evidence of it being possible to encounter two special Pokemon in the same session. So we will have to wait for that. None of the whales have got it and there's no evidence online either. Yo, top belly Typhlosion, that's a start. I'll take all the candy I can get now from the Typhlosion. That was a lot of dream shards. Eight and a half thousand for a single sleep style. And that is not like luck incense boosted or nothing. So it's pretty strong. Yeah, I found my Typhlosion yesterday if you saw that video. And so any candy I can get, I'll take it. All right, I have an anti-incense as you can see. I got one yesterday though. So it's highly unlikely that I'll get another one today, but we'll see. Caterpie, Growlithe, there's the Entei, two star. That's gonna be a lot of dream shards. 12,000 and the mains too, which is great. Got a new Meow Meowth sleep style. That's nice. Payday, three star. A lot of very strong encounters today. Seems like I'm getting close to like 20,000 dream shards just for this session. And it's Friday, so it's going to be quite exciting with tomorrow and the Sunday. Yo, enough. What is going on? Six. Oh, it's snoozing, of course. Yes, that makes sense. We got a new Togekiss sleep style. Togekiss is my favorite Pokemon. Unfortunately, it is not beneficial to catch it at final evolution because it is a skill specialist. And every evolution, you gain one main skill level, and that's a big deal. Two Kulava, a Diglett, and a new Charizard. This is the three star. Uh, no, it's a one star? Really? Kind of makes sense with all these other high star encounters. I'll take it though. Apparently, I've seen the two stars before. I think the crossed arm sleep is funny. Especially the shiny version of Charizard and uh, I have it in one of the thumbnails It's real funny All right, let's see in total That's a lot of dream shards. I'll take it. I'm just climbing I'm aiming towards like half a mil and then just to have that as my bottom just like buffer because <laughs> I've gotten to the point where All right, <laughs> that is interesting I was hoping that at least one of the Ante would be hungry, but I guess not. <sighs> so I found a decent Ante yesterday, but I'm not particularly happy with it. I want the skill triggers. I don't care about the main skill levels. And so I'll have to think about what I want to do in terms of the incense. So I'm definitely going to get one more incense to hold. And then I need another incense for the Saturday final session. So that's around 300 mains. So I guess I can afford like two biscuits here. And then I should be getting a decent amount of mains from this session and the next couple of sessions. So yeah, I'm just gonna stack up on two biscuits here. It would be funny now if I get a mega hit, I should have probably parsed that out a little bit done one at a time but it is what it is okay that is a great hit 
or just a regular hit, I guess, with a anti biscuit. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna be a little bit funny here. I'm just gonna go do a, a great biscuit. Let's see if it gets full or something. Yep. Well, there you go. All right. So I'm actually thinking I do have a premium biscuit. It would be interesting with a Caterpie up there. I'm not interested in Meowth, not in Arcanine. I already have a Typhlosion, so I think if anything, I'd have to go for these Quilava. I don't really need a Caterpie, but I also really don't need any of these. Hmm. Let's just go for it. It's not often that you encounter two Quilava that are both hungry. So this one's right in the box, and then if I double Great Biscuit this other Quilava, then I have two Quilava to review, which is gonna be good. And then I'm thinking to just prep that Caterpie, and in the case that it is within reach, I'll catch that as well. All right, so here is the second Quilava. And then I might as well just prepare the widget. There we go. And then I'll see if we can also get our hands on this Caterpie. I have been trying to get the Bear Finding Caterpie, as you can see. I've gotten close to level 10, but here we are. So it could already be this one. I don't think I'm too particular with the Caterpie. So if I can find, yo, there's a crit. Let's see if it's still hungry though. All right, nice. Yeah, I'm not very concerned with Butterfree overall. So if I can find Berry Finding and at least one speed buff, that would be nice. All right, let's review some Pokemon. Obviously, we're going to send the Entei to the friend list, and we got 115 mains. That was because of all these snoozing-type Pokemon, and you can see the only <laughs> dozing Pokemon was the Caterpie. The one Kolava was from the good camp ticket. It's interesting. That was a pretty good session, huh? Yeah, we got 40,000 Dream Shards. That's massive. All right, first Kulava. I have already found one Kulava that was pretty good. Naughty Nature, don't remember this one. Not Berry Finding. Helping bonus, Ingredient Finder is bad. <laughs> Inventory not needed. Ingredient Finder M, also bad. Main skill chance down is unfortunate, but the speed of help up is pretty huge. Especially if it is a Quilava, then uh, you don't really care too much about the main skill chance anyhow. But I already have a pretty strong Quilava, so for the most part, it was just to have something to review here today since they were hungry. Rash nature, that is awful. That is uh, ingredients up. It's triple ginger. <laughs> this is reminding me of Tamagod. Ingredient Finder S, Ingredient Finder M, Helping Speed S, with the Ingredient Finding Up Nature. That is hilarious. Skill Trigger S, Skill Trigger M, with the Skill Chance Down. That's one funny Quilava. I think I'm gonna dump it though, but it's... that That's a funny encounter. Like, if I could get this set up on an Ingredient Specialist, that would be amazing. Mono Ingredient. All the ingredient ups, some speed, and to an extent you don't care about the skill triggers. Come on, man. Can I just like fuse this with some other Pokemon? That would be the best. Okay, we have the Caterpie, which is Butterfree's first stage evolution. Mild nature is awful. That is energy recovery down, ingredients up. And you can see that Butterfree has 20% on its ingredient rate. So that is decent for a berry specialist. That is the value you want as low as possible because that means you will be finding more berries. 
Skill level up M. Where have I seen this before? <laughs> oh man, skill trigger M. Helping speed M, inventory. What is going on? We need fusion. I wanna mix this with my Dedene. <laughs> That would be so good. But yeah, three very, very awful Pokemon today. But that's how this game is. It's a little bit of randomness just mixed in. And that is nice. I have been popping my Sylveon a lot today. I'm really afraid of getting behind on the energy curve. And so there's another skill trigger. Charge Strength S level six on the Typhlosion. I was considering using a main skill seed on it, but for the most part, I am a little bit hesitant now that we're getting close to the one year anniversary. They might have some features and things in the pipeline that are stacked up. There could also be nothing, but for now, I'll just hoard my resources and see what happens. One simple change could, could be the max level cap, bring it up to level 60. And at that point, a lot of the metagame is going to change because some of the ingredient specialists are going to be a lot stronger. And some of them will even unlock stuff like this where, <coughs> excuse me, the Ditto has Slowpoke Tail at level 60. So that's going to be huge for me. And whenever I can get to level 75, that's going to be massive because I have the ingredients up nature, but the ingredients... Sub skill is coming in at 75, so that's a little bit, little bit late. And then with a lot of these Pokemon, I'm just holding back some of the resources. The Sylveon, I just went all out. And uh, the excess energy or the excess EXP rather has been going into Handy Candy. But for the most part, I'm trying not to do overnight with the Sylveon and get some very specialists on the field instead. So what I wanted to point out here is my energy levels. You can see 113, 89, 110, 113, and 108. I'm just right on the limit. And by the time you go to bed, typically for optimal gameplay, you want to have around 130, 135%, uh, assuming you sleep for around, you know, eight and a half hours. Whenever you can do naps, that is a little bit different because then you can always have either a, an energy recovery incense, or you can use some um, Pokemon with the energy recovery bonus, which typically is a troll skill, but when you do naps, that is a little bit helpful. And that's it. This was a rather short video. Master 18 is the goal. So probably we'll go a little bit in depth tomorrow, ask for how my team looks like. And then Sunday will be a packed video because I'll be, no, yeah, it will be a little bit packed, but for the most part, I can't really do everything in one since I do need to cook lunch for the Entei, and then most of those details will actually be in the Monday video. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how your second week of Entei is going, and I'll talk to you guys in the comments. See you guys tomorrow.